Okay golfers, so now we're talking about iron play. How to hit better iron shots, give yourself more chances for birdies, more chances to save par, and keep that score going when you're out there on the golf course. Now, further down the line, we're gonna do a little bit more specific. We're gonna talk about being over the top or shallowing the swing out a little bit, but we're gonna generalize a little bit on, on the iron play, how to hit better iron play. So we've started with grip, we've done ball position and posture, their static positions. From there, we're gonna work now on iron play and how to give ourselves better chances when we're out on the golf course. Okay, so iron play, the biggest fault I see, I get a lot of people saying, oh, you know, I can drive it okay, but you see, it's the shots into the green that let me down and, and they feel that they've done a lot of the hard work and then they, they, they ruin it with the iron play. Now, the biggest fault I see is lack of trust in the shot that you're gonna play and lacking belief that you're gonna play it. With that then creates the golfer getting too involved in the shot. So you see a lot of people where they get a little bit leaning back trying to help it or coming down trying to really sort of squeeze it onto the target or steer it into the target. So we're going to talk about, I'll give you a couple of drills and you might identify yourself as one of these players. You might see yourself as actually, yeah, that's me. I, I waste a lot of chances. I hit the shot fat, I hit the shot thin. So I'm going to help you with a couple of drills that's going to help you one, strike it better and two, getting more in the direction of we wanting to go and give yourself some more chances on the course. Now, a great drill, when you, when you go to the range, it's a great warm-up drill, is we want to strike it down. We want to hit the ball. When we're hitting an iron shot, we want to we hit down on the shot and, and compress it and strike it well. But what we want to do, and, and where, where people struggle with that, I do, a, I do a drill when I'm inside on a mat, is I want people to try and clip the mat. And the sound of the mat is a real good indicator of if you're getting the strike correct. So if you don't hear the mat, obviously you've not hit any turf, you've not hit down on the shot, you've missed the mat. If you hit, boom, thud into the mat or straight into the ground as though you're digging for oil, you know that you've hit that ball heavy and you've hit that fat shot. So a great little drill is when you're at the range or in the net, is have your feet together, go through the posture drill of the one, two, good grip, and we want in five or six swings, just, with that nice clippy sound of the turf. If we miss the turf, the chances are we've lost our shape. If we take up a roll of turf, we know that we've gone too steep and dig down on the shot. Now, if you can do five or six swings in a row without missing, then with your feet together, this is gonna get you the feeling of staying a little bit more stable over the shot. Again, this, drill, this, this lesson is a little bit of a generalization of what people do. I appreciate that, but coming further down the line, we're gonna go a little bit more into detail of, of swing paths and, and what you're wanting to do. So this is a great start point with a good grip and a sound setup that's gonna help you with these iron shots. This is gonna help you feel, if you lean back and fall back, you know that you're help leaning back. If you're going forward, you know you're going forward. You wanna be able to do those drills, standing nice and solid, clipping the turf every time, not really damaging, just a light scarring or a little thump on the mat, and you'll know that you've delivered the club correctly to hit a better iron shot. So there's one tip for you when you go in the range. Rather than just getting a basket of balls and just over hit 300 balls, brilliant, waste of time. Structure it, hit, hit 10 or 20 like this, and then move on to the next drill that I'm gonna give you now to help you hit better irons. 10 or 20 like that, and then 10 or 20 testing at the end and see how it goes. You've come away from that one, you'll feel that you've done more, you know, you're more structured, you've done a better session, and two, you'll start to see the benefits when you get on the course. Okay, so the second drill I'm gonna help you with that's gonna help you hit better iron shots is a bit of an old drill, uh, but it's, it's a great drill uh, to show where you, a lot of people don't know actually where they deliver the club from. Do a lean back, do a lean, I don't really know. My mate Bob says I lean back, so he must be right, because he's a milkman. So. He must know what that means. So you need to know your own game. You need to know what you are doing, okay? This drill's fabulous. So all I do is I put, just, just wider than a club head, two tee pegs in the ground. Now these can be, you know the old bits of tee pegs, broken tee pegs, put them on a mat. It doesn't have to be stuck into the ground. If you're on a mat in your garden, yeah? yeah. 
So what we're doing when we want a drill and we're hitting in practice shots is we want feedback. We want them sort of coaches going, that's it and that's not. But we don't always have that benefit. We can create that by feedback from our drills and, and watching what's happening and, and taking. So you don't even need to hit balls. Again, you don't have to go to the, ball, to the range and spend uh, loads of money on balls. You can do this in your garden. You can do this in the nets at the golf club. And it's two tee pegs, just a bit wider than the golf club. And all we're going to do is set up to the front peg and we're trying to hit a descending blow, missing the back peg and taking the front peg out or hitting the front peg. That'll know that we've, we're in the right position at impact. We're delivering that club. Now, if we can deliver it into a tee peg that small, that'll look like a big boulder when we get that in front of us. We know that we can, we can hit that. So it's a great feedback. Now, what you do, if you lean back and try and help the shot, yeah, up, you'll hit the back peg. If you get too steep, you'll probably miss the front peg and you'll, get, you'll see it digging out. All you want to do is clip that front peg out, okay? The, one of the biggest faults we see is this losing shape, the body coming up and losing shape. So when we take the swing, we set ourselves up in a good position and all we're trying to do is swing and take that front peg out all the time, leaving the back peg there. We know that we can hear the little bit of the ground. We got that, that's one. Do 10, see how many you can get out of 10. Do it again, if you only get one out of 10, fine, that's your score. Go back the next time, do another 10, see if you can get that into position. If you can beat that score, again, you, you put in pressure then on the drill shot as well. Oh, my best score's three, I'm on three now, I could get to four. It's gonna improve your golf, it's gonna put you in that game situation that you do when you're on the golf course. This is a fabulous drill that's really gonna help you with the delivery and the descending blow onto the back of the golf ball. Okay, so the third tip I'm going to give you on irons is, is a striking drill. It's to get the, you to strike the ball better. It's a drill I still use now. But the good things about this, we have generalised the iron play. Uh, but you can identify yourself, be honest with yourself as you are as an iron player, and, and pick which bits out of that you want and discard the rest. Uh, and, and again, can just drop back onto it and, and try them. You're not going to lose anything by any of the drills I've given you there. It's always going to benefit you. Nothing's going to hurt you. But this one is to, to get you to, I see a lot of iron players and they, and they lift out and they, they, they move shape and that's where they miss strike. And sometimes you can hit a good one from this position and think that's not gone far enough, it's not gone as far. And that's not because you've, you've added loft, you've lifted out the shot, you might have struck the ball well, but it's just a bit of a high floaty flight and it doesn't give you that distance. So this is a great one to make sure you stay over the ball, you cover it, you're really compact. You see the top players in the world who really get over their iron play. And how do you do that? How, how do you know if you're doing that? Now, this drill is going to help you do that. It's a fabulous drill. Okay, so for this drill, all I want you to do is set yourself up as normal. Good stance, good posture. And then take a step to the right. One, two, okay? We're now about six to eight inches behind the ball. Leave the club where it is. So you set up still as normal. You're not reaching for the ball. You're setting up as normal. But what we're going to do now is we're going to swing the club and we're going to work into that ball. Now, if I start to lose shape, I'm going to miss it or I'm going to, I'm going to swing it on the inside. If I come across it, I'll swing it on the inside. And it's given me feedback again of what actually do I do if I can't get the strike. Now, when you first do this, you won't get the strike. You'll hit it all over the show. That's telling you that you're not quite doing what we're trying to get you to do. The feedback of the ball the strike will give you the feedback that that was bang on, okay? So set yourselves up. One, two. Bring the club back here. And as we swing, we're working in. Now, don't worry if it goes a bit left because obviously the ball position, you're going to be swinging it left. It's the quality of the strike that you're after. So in this position, it's the quality of the strike that's giving us the feedback. We set ourselves up and we're working into that ball. Good posture, good grip. Swing the club. And we're after a decent strike on that ball. Once you get used to doing it off the tee peg, kick the tee peg out and do it off the mat, do it off the grass, do it off the, off the floor and get the feeling of the ball. You are covering the ball on the way down and staying over the shot. You're getting rid of this, trying to lift and back out. It's such a common fault that I see, which creates a poor strike, poor direction and also lack of distance. This is really gonna help you. It's a fantastic drill to get you striking the ball better, get you hitting better crisp iron shots that you see a lot of golfers do on the telly and a lot of the, you know, the better players at your club doing. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed lesson three. I've been Dave McKinnon, head professional here at Chorlton Kamadi Golf Club. I'll see you next time.
for fairway woods and hybrids.